we've got two new products that we're launching. One of them was a, a product that we previewed last year at Euromold, uh, which was known as the Evo Project, and we're bringing this to the market now as the Ren AM 500M. And this is our new Renishaw designed and built optical system inside of an AM solution. We're also bringing an evolution of our previous product line from the AM250 to the AM400, and we're also launching our new build preparation software known as Quantum. When Renishaw decided to enter the AM market, we wanted to bring our expertise and knowledge that we have of building production and high quality and repeatable parts of the market. So we took a look at the, the AM platform and we thought about how we would want to change the design of it, and that's culminated in the Ren AM platform, of which we're bringing the 500M to market today. Yeah, so it's um, a powder bed machine. So we, we have an optical unit that sits on top and it directs a laser at a powder bed and we melt a layer of material and then progressively more and more layers. So you end up with a putt. So some of the things that we've incorporated still are the, the vacuum inerting cycle. And what this means is that we have a very low argon usage for the machine and so a low cost of ownership. And there are other things like the way in which we inert the filters, which are unique to us. At Renishaw, we see AM is a rapidly maturing technology in the metals world. We see that we're moving to more and more production-based customers, and these will be customers producing large quantities of parts. So they need not only stable production systems, such as the additive machines that we're producing, but also as part of an overall process chain in which we bring in metrology expertise and we have to cater for, for finishing operations as well and the final inspection. So that's what we're demonstrating at the show, the complete process chain from printing through post-processing and metrology operations. And the machine is kind of a, a basis. We try to make it so that we can, we can adapt it and then develop it into the future. So for example, um, it's got a Renishaw designed optical system uh, for a 500 watt laser. And this means that it performs really well now, much faster than we've had before, but, but also it gives us a basis for developing in the future. Quantum is a software tool which is built by Renishaw for build preparation which consumes a CAD file. You can orient the CAD geometry in, in the direction you want. You can then slice the geometry. You can then support the geometry in the way you want. And then you can use the material parameters which best suit the powders that you want to use to then generate the geometry that you want. The benefits of the software is that we get a significant synergy between the software side as well as the machine because we understand both sides of the spectrum. We know what is best for our machines and we can actually generate files which work very well with our system and this synergy is really leveraged by quantum. That's, that's the essence of this software. Well, customers want a complete solution and they want to be able to optimize it for their processes. And by using the quantum software, we can prepare the build parts and have control of that for our own platforms. And then with using our metrology, we can make sure that we're adding the process capability on the back end of our parts so that we can have known repeatable parts for our customers. Very wide variety of in, in, industries are now looking at this technology. The metal additive is a completely disruptive technology, but it's part of an overall process chain where they're looking at subsequent operations on there. So that takes us all the way from the ones that you'd expect, such as automotive and aerospace, through medical and a whole range of other application areas in between. So lots of interesting things happen. One of the key things we need to do is make sure that designers are opening their eyes to what they can do with additive technology and how they can use it on their product line and think about designing and manufacturing products differently.